What is up guys and welcome back to the 13th episode of the Hardcore Let's Play. Today, we're starting off where we finished off last episode here at the Pumpkin and Melon and Shurikane Farm. I've been AFKing here a little bit. We've got some stuff. Uh, not too much. I did actually take... We had one of these chests full and I took them over to the villagers. Um, but that's also something that needs to be expanded because we only have one farmer currently and that is... That is definitely not enough to process all the pumpkins and melons that we have here. But, today we're going to be working on another project. And that is going to be a fully automatic, TNT powered, um, cobblestone farm. So, let's get started. I think, um, I want to build it in this general area. Um, possibly just over here might be good. Or we might just build it right next to this one. Um, this, this hill right here is also looking pretty nice. Yeah. I think we're just going to build it right here, guys, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the farm building. Alright guys, as you can see, the farm is now completely working. It's a pretty simple design, um, uh, just, you know, it's a basic cobblestone generator and then we got a TNT duper up there. Now all we gotta do is we gotta set up a storage system, because as you can see, we've already got two stacks in here. This thing's pretty damn efficient. Alright, let's get building, shall we? Um, 
so here's what I think we're gonna do we got quite a few chests 24 in fact and we got a decent amount of hoppers so so how am I gonna do this let's go we're gonna go like this I think uh, so what we're gonna do here is pretty simple we're gonna do that then bam oh wait Bam, 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 whoops, bam, and then, yeah, uh, whoops, there we go, and then now we're just gonna layer these chests a bit, just like so, oh my god, this, the lack of, uh, ground, clearance here is kind of annoying, I will admit. Oh, and these explosions that keep rocking me. Oh my god, bro. I do kind of wish you could still place chests the old way. Uh, we are going to need a few more here, so let's do that real quick. Oh, whoops. All right, guys, there we go. Six more chests. And one thing is, we are taking slight damage if we're standing here, so we do got to watch out for that. Um, but other than that, I think everything is good now. I'm just going to do that, like so, and then we'll do. Whoops. Oh my god, bro. These uh these explosions are making it a little difficult to work. So I get shooken every five seconds. And there we are, guys. That's the storage system. I think what we're gonna do sometime when I have some time we're gonna, you know, make this room all looking nice. <clears throat> Gotta cover up the hoppers and stuff. But for now, we have a decent amount of storage. So the thing what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go for a test session. Uh, just AFK for a bit, and we're going to figure out how much this thing produces, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, it's been about three hours now. As you can see, we got a decent amount of stone. It's nothing insane. I honestly thought this farm would produce more than three double chests in this amount of time, but it's still not too bad. Um, and I'm probably going to be, you know, I'm, I won't go through, this will last me quite a bit of time. And of course, I can always AFK overnight if I need any more. But I think one thing that we do need to do now, um, one idea that I've had is that I need to go mining. It's actually been a little bit of time since I've gone mining, and we're starting to run a little low on some of our resources, including stuff such as diamonds and, even more importantly, redstone. Um, we have a critical lack of redstone currently in this world, so we're going to go mining a bit. I'm just going to head over to the monument grab some of the stuff we need and then we're gonna start mining all right guys we're back at the old skeleton spawner it's been actually a quite a while since I've been here uh, we're gonna need these bones for a project in the future I'm also gonna grab this e chest I'm not really sure why that's here it doesn't really serve much of a purpose uh, we got some good stuff so we're just gonna start mining again um we're just gonna go you know what let's go this way shall we
All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is the hall. Uh, it was a pretty short mining trip, but we got a decent amount of redstone, which was my main goal. This was a tiny amount of gold and uh, just a few diamonds. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to break down these ores with the Fortune 3 pick. Let's see how much we can get, shall we? And this is what we got. We didn't do too bad on redstone. We got about probably a stack and a half of blocks here. Only 18 diamonds. <clears throat> a little over a stack of gold. Really not too bad stuff here, guys. Um, let me just craft this stuff up. Yeah. About a stack and a little under a stack and a half. Not too bad on diamonds. Not too bad on gold. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and in the next episode, we're going to be working on a fully automatic tree farm. Uh, we really got to get these farms going so that we can really tackle these big projects. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.